It's Christmas time at Neil Systems. Foxworth got us a gift. Let's open it and find out what it is. Look, it's a Foxborough IDP50S. This seems new, and it's green. It is green. And look, it even comes with a red cap. I'm Chris Fulton. I'm outside sales at Neil Systems. And I'm John Lamp, applications at Neil Systems. This is the highly anticipated pressure release from Foxboro. We wanted to take a few minutes to go over it. Chris, we have features that I think everyone's going to care about. Why is it green? I thought Foxboro was blue. Well, green means that Foxboro is being incorporated into Schneider Electric's eco-structure. And this is something that you're going to hear a lot more about from us later. Is this a Christmas transmitter? Why did they send red? Well, that red cap, Chris, can be used to identify transmitters that are used in safety applications. You may be interested to know that this is a SIL2 compliant transmitter with all the documentation that you need. So what's the first thing I should know about the new IDP50S? If I'm a process engineer and I'm designing a new project, my worst nightmare is having to do revisions. Every time I have to do a revision, that means I have to check my process instrumentation part numbers against all my new process conditions. I'm just imagining all the paperwork. Well, when I'm specking a pressure transmitter, Chris, I'm usually following what I call the 50 to 80% rule. My process pressure range has to be somewhere between 50 and 80% of the max pressure range of the pressure transmitter. And that's to deal with accuracy issues. Why is this going to let me skip that rule of thumb? With FoxCal technology, this pressure transmitter can maintain 0.025% accuracy from the high part of the range all the way down to the low part of the range. Hold on, because I know about large turndown ranges, but what you're telling me sounds like there's more than one calibration on that software. Well, there is more than one calibration, and all the calibrations that are stored in this transmitter seamlessly work together to give you something called reading accuracy. What if I want to use it for a higher range, and then maybe I swap it out for a lower range? Am I still using the same model code for all of those? Can I leave them in the storeroom that way? Foxborough's goal with this transmitter is making sure that one model code could possibly cover an entire project, and maybe even an entire facility. So if you spec somewhere in that range from bottom to top, you can expect the transmitter to perform accurately. Chris, we could order this transmitter from the factory with the same part number. We could stick it on the shelf and configure it later without having to calibrate it. So when I set the output span and then I zero it, am I worried about any calibration? All those calibrations are already stored in the instrument. You don't need to calibrate it when you install it. Set it, zero it, I'm done. All set to go. Sounds like a good present from Foxborough. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.